Hi, uh, I made a video about enabling multi-lib on Slackbar. Before you watch the f this video, I recommend you strongly to watch that one first. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Wine. The installation itself is mostly simple, especially if you downloaded the package from websites like this one or from uh, from source forge if I'm not mistaken which is this one yes it's simple all you have to do is to download it if you want to see how to down download it I'll show you just take the link here and then run wget and the link press enter but for me since I have that downloaded already I don't need it why I said to you you should go to multi-lib because if you simply download and install like this install package wine if you simply download it and install it like this uh, later when you try to run the command wine like this you will get command not found although it is installed the command that will be installed or the command that you will get is this one uh, the confusion happened I will explain to you how it, how it happened first you need to install the package the confusion happened is uh, because I uh, enabled multi-lib installed wine and then checked if the command wine exists or not it was not existing which means the 6 32 bits uh, is not enabled you cannot install 32 bits applications you have either to run or to enable multi-lib you can check that in the description I will keep it for you and you, I strongly recommend you to do it or you have to do something that I'm gonna show you now because I don't know how I have become having the command wine enabled automatically every time I installed the package you see here I s installed the package before I enable multi-lib and do the stuff that I'm gonna show you now every time I run the command line it doesn't exist it says to me no such file or directory or command not found now after installing wine which is usually doesn't have 32 bit support enabled uh, I don't know if that is because of having multi-lib enabled or because of the second thing that I'm, I'm going to show you in this video which is converting a 64-bit package to a 32-bit package which is this way you run it like this I don't know because after doing the, uh, both the two things which are enabling multi-lib and running this conversion uh, command I have become always having wine for 32 bits installed and enabled and I don't know if you only need to run this command this way or install it as well because after you run this command you don't install this command but you install the package that is going to give you which you're gonna see right now you wait for it for some time and then in case you enabled multi-lib and try to install wine and it worked with you I mean you look it for wine like this and it worked for you no need for you to go any further and you're good to go otherwise run this command I don't know also if you run this command alone with installing wine without enabling multi-lib if it's gonna let you have wine for 32 bits this way as you can see so let's wait for this and then I'll tell you what to do next all right so here on my TMP folder the temporary files folder I got for the one that I tried to convert it's this one 8.6 so the next thing you do in case you enabled multi-lib you installed wine you still did not have the command wine this one for 32 bits applications you run the command that I've shown you now which is this one you run this one you will definitely get this package that I highlighted here 
after you get that package you, you install it simply but make sure you specify the full path which is this one becomes 8.6 like this you install it in case you still did not have the 32 bits applications enabled or the support for that wine works as you can see we have it for 32 bits or 64 bits as well it's working fine i'm using ssh connection that's why i apologize for not running any applications here otherwise i will simply run and this will let you have the support for 30 32 bits applications don't forget to watch the other video it's not because i mean i'm not trying to it's not a matter of marketing it's just because you need you may need to depend on that video to have 32 bits applications running with wine until then thank you for watching if you're interested in similar content or content about other systems or distributions make sure you subscribe if you like the video hit the like button comment with anything you want to tell me share with your friends and peace